with Natalia. I'm joined by Nicolise Harding in South Africa. How are you today? <laughs> Doing very well. I get to speak to my friends, so I'm happy. How are you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely great. Thanks. And I've got my cat joining us today as well. There's Jolo having a bit of a, a wash going on there. But uh, <laughs> now we've done a couple of projects together and I thought it'd be nice to have you on because A, you're very, very talented and B, you have a fantastic, fantastic personality to match. And I think Thank we all need a bit of positivity in this um, time. So I thought let's have a little chat and let the world know who is Nicolise. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready. It's very boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, you followed your dreams and that's already a big step, right? Not many people dare to do that. And plus you've done a, a bit of travel as well. Tell us a bit how that started out your career. Oh, gosh. Um, I, I can still remember this conversation I had with my father when I was in high school. Um, after high school, I said I wanted to actually go overseas and just travel and see everything that I've learned in, in art history. And he said to me, you will only do this if you get a degree. And I was like, okay, fine. So I went and I studied. And after I got the degree, I was like, right, I'm going overseas now. <laughs> yeah. And um, it was just amazing uh, to see all the culture and stuff that you've learned from in, in your art history books. And you know, seeing all the different places that you always see in movies and stuff, because here in South Africa, we, we have a very rich culture, but we are bombarded with American culture and with U uh, British culture. So it's always nice to see everything out there. And I think with traveling, it really gave me that details per perspective, seeing things a little bit more closely and appreciating what effort went into everything. So and um, just to try and capture that and bring it back home and show to everyone what, what I've seen and so on was, uh, was I think, the biggest and the nicest thing to, to actually build on what I have today as, as a photography career. Never mm -hmm. thought that would end up like that, though, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? And, I mean, I suppose travel also widens your horizons and you might spend more time looking at details in a different way that you would have done before. So it's interesting. And a lot of people now are confined and stuck with maybe a camera they bought ages ago thinking, mm. yeah, I'd like to do some photography. Never got around to it, though. So what would you say would be an interesting thing to, to consider to start? Like guide for dummies, let's say. <laughs> Well, not to go immediately and go and spend a hell of a lot of money on getting a brand spanking new cameras. Just by using your own phone is a very, very good stepping stone. Um, you, you, for instance, have amazing, nice little details in your home and everything I've seen on your Instagram. So, yes. And just by using your phone and seeing the little details is already a very important step. So, actually, currently, I don't know if you've seen it, I'm running a photo, a mobile phone photo challenge on my Instagram. So it's um, everyone's taking part because everyone is stuck at home and the, you have a daily subject that you can go. So every day I'm giving everyone a bit of tips how to take a photo of a pretty leaf. Um, today's topic is macro. Uh, I think another topic would be um, after dark, what what your life looks like after dark and everything. And um, I think what what is a good step is just to sit down, take a moment and appreciate what you have around yourself and look at things in a different perspective. Everyone's always looking at things like this. Yeah. You have to just maybe look up or look down or just don't use your phone for just stupid little selfies or anything. Um, yes, <laughs> I'm terrible at it. But um Yes, there's, there's so many things. I'm very blessed to be with my parents at the moment during this lockdown, and they have so much detail in this house. And I'm having a jaw. I really am having a jaw. So, yeah, just take a breather, take your phone, go through your phone. I saw yesterday with my dad that he doesn't even know half of the stuff that's on his phone. Oh, wow. And I think he has the new Samsung 10, okay. and there's a pro function on it. So you can actually change your shutter speed, change your ISO and your aperture and your white balance and everything. So you really have a, profe a professional camera inside your phone. Uh -huh. um, 
So start with that. And then from there on, you can decide to go on a DSLR or maybe even a hybrid camera and just build it from there. Mm -hmm. And YouTube channels. Oh, gosh, we have so many photographers giving out nice advice on yeah. photography. Um, really, just just start searching. Google. Um, I love research. <gasps> it's one of my favorite things in the world is doing research. And YouTube is the new Google for me. You you can you can just Google YouTube anything on yeah YouTube, but yeah during lockdown get to learn your phone. It just doesn't take photos. It has so many other different features, which is absolutely amazing. That's cool, and I will check out that challenge. I'm probably joining that. So cool, that's very nice. And connecting people. So would you say that what's going on now is also means of connecting with people in a different way and finding your passions and, and learning slowly, but surely different things that can be helpful in the long run once we get out of this. Definitely something that you can take, um, take home with you and well, take to work with you in the end of the day. Um, I know there's a bunch of chefs sitting at home and they have absolutely nothing to do. So if you do your little thing at home, cook a little nice, meal or something try and take nice photos of that with your phone which you can then place back onto your, your social media um, which will then also establish you as a chef and make you even look more amazing um, it's the same with people that do art uh, if they just photograph their processes and everything that's immediately also just an amazing thing that you can take further mm -hmm. um, there's other ways that you can do is also show in um, oh gosh What's that function that fastens everything when you take a video of it? Oh, I, time lapse. Yes, yeah, that's time cool. lapsing. So if you time lapse your sketching, for instance, from above, and you just take photos of your hands as you are painting or sketching or knitting even, that even establishes you as uh, an artist or even a baker or even if you're building like a little car. Lego. Oh, gosh, I can go on. Um, <laughs> There's so many ways that you can just take photography and make it an extra hobby or make it an extra add-on to your business. Um, photography is actually such a versatile type of job that um, if you just understand composition, you can already do so much, so much that I promise you. That's right. And video is the key now. I mean, like you were saying, it's it's not about the final product necessarily always the still portrait. It's the process and that makes yes. you more personable and there's that human connection that's built and you learn from it. So then you might want to replicate it yourself and not just show off the perfect photo at the end and go, yeah, that was nice, but so what people are more about the craftsman it's about the process it's about getting from raw materials and coming up with something amazing so yeah mm. i think it's great that you've mentioned um touched on that point actually so cool cool yeah it's show your show your behind the scenes because a lot of people they really want to see how you have accomplished that shot or how did you get to that cake for instance or how did you finish this model car or with your uh, uh, story writing and everything if you just do like a, a, a time lapse of how you're typing your your poems and your stories and that is already something personal that you're giving away but not too much yeah. and it already pulls in your viewer and your uh, and, and your followers to to have that connection with you um I love it. It's 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 amazing if you can just add a little bit of a behind the scenes situation um, of your process. Uh, it's just absolutely fantastic. I love it. Video is amazing. I'm I'm getting into it now, uh, slowly but surely. Uh, this lockdown is really not helping with the fact that I don't want to wear makeup now for the next few weeks. But um, yeah. yeah, we'll 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 get there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get sure. there. Cool. So, and then also, I mean, you don't just do photography. That's that became your career out of a passion. Mm -hmm. But you're also a very talented graphic designer and art Thank director. <laughs> and oh, we've worked oh. on several projects in Monaco worldwide. And you know that that's the cool thing about you is that you have an extreme eye for detail and the way that you translate a brief. And I love your questions because the brief paper is very precise and some clients mm. go oh my god why do i have to go into so much detail but that's the point <laughs> because at the end of it what comes out of it is just spot on and you take all mm. 
So is this thank you. You're welcome. So is this something that you were born with? Like you knew naturally this is what you wanted to always do, that creative side? Uh Again, I'm very blessed with a creative mother and father. Um, the photography came from my father's side and obviously the designing and arty side came from mom. So it um, it kind of got braided into me, yeah. if you can say that. But um, I know when I think I was about 16 years old, I was uh, sent to a friend of my mom's husband's office and he introduced me to graphic design and I got home that day and I was like, mom, this is what I want to do. This is, this is creative. It's on the computer. It's something new. It's something fresh. Nobody else knows about this. And well, that was back in 19, <laughs> 1996, <laughs> a very long time. <laughs> so, and yeah, from, from the age of 16, it was something that I knew I wanted to go and do. And I went and I studied, my first year at varsity was marketing and I hated every single second of it because I'm not great at marketing. It's, it's, it's not my forte. I'm a behind the scenes person. I can create the poster for you. You just take the poster and go make magic happen. Yeah. So, and then I went into pure, pure graphic design from my second year and it just went absolutely blissful from there. It's, I didn't have to study for theory exams so much. It was just art the whole time. I had to sketch and paint and mosaic and stick everything together just to create stuff. And I was also very blessed to have very creative uh, professors and lecturers who just said, go, go with it. I mean, one project I had was I, I don't know how I came upon it, but it was just, I took silicone and I dumped a hell of a lot of glitter in it. And then I took a syringe and I took an old diary of mine and I'd syringe silicone points onto it. So it's this touchy feely thing. And I think that in, I enjoyed it because my OCD is touch. Uh -huh. I need to feel texture. And yeah, I think I still have it. <laughs> I need to go look. Right. But yeah, it's something that I've known for a long time that this is what I like to do. I like to make things pretty. Um, I want to make your brand look pretty. I want you to look beautiful when you are showing off your business card or your website. I, I enjoy, and this you know as well, as I enjoy trying to adapt the art to the functions with you doing your website. You know how it was. Um, I would say, listen, is this working? Do I need to move things around? Um, it, and yeah, I'm not going to say unfortunately, but fortunately, in a way, I'm very perfectionistic when it comes to these things. I want things to work, but in a beautiful way. So yes, to answer your question again, I knew for a long time that I wanted to do this. <laughs> and then some of the cool brands you've worked with is very impressive as well. So. Are they only South Africa? No, I mean, you've been, well, we worked a bit with me here in Monaco and in the South of France, but worldwide too, give us a bit of a peek. Oh gosh, I I have done my most recent one. Of, okay, that was um, the caravan concept was that with you, their niece, but just the previous one there for was um, a bow hunting uh, reserve just based outside of Pretoria. Um, they believe in the art of bow hunting and everything. And it was just absolutely so much fun trying to, to create that logo for them. And the way that they took the logo and they made it into the steel representation of the logo outside of the reserve. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So that was beautiful. Um, I have done like ballet, ballet theatres and stuff like that as well. I needed to do some logos there, which was awesome. And oh gosh, there's so many. <laughs> and then obviously we, we got um, Marketa's, Marketa Hakkinen's logos that we've did, done for her fashion lines and everything, which was actually quite lovely to work with and everything. But uh, yeah, there's so many, there's so many. There's obviously a, a few um, little local projects where we try to build up new businesses. Uh, they get funding from the government and everything. So part of the funding is um, making them a logo and a business card and a flyer as a step up to get their business going. Um, those were a few nice ones and everything. And what I love about them is they're very African, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it's very colorful. 
so you have a lot of fun with all the colors and everything so that is actually quite lovely as well um yeah and i think one of my favorite ones was a restaurant logo that i did unfortunately the restaurant closed but um, it had a pirate skull and everything and a little chef's hat on it. And it was absolutely Aww. gorgeous. Yeah, it was something different. I'm usually doing all the little nice, detaily, girly yeah. stuff and everything. So here this manly logo came out and that was actually quite nice. So, really yeah. So rock and roll spirit as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get the music into my life again. <laughs> Yeah, if so I didn't, very, very exciting. I would be dead right now. I mean, being in confinement by yourself, ooh la la, without music, not going there. <laughs> I, I don't know how, how people cannot listen to music right now. We have our radio up and going consistently. Oh. My parents' favorite radio station is LM Radio. So it's a Mozambican-based radio station here in South Africa. And it's just playing the nicest 60s and 50s and 70s oh, cool. music. So it's really creating a nice vibe for us in the house and everyone's relaxed and chilled which is quite lovely especially for this lockdown because i think we're, we're moving into a hectic time we haven't seen our hecticness yet so yeah happy. let's be positive positive so now is the time also to be thinking about your strategy marketing strategy and also rebranding which is something where design is super interesting and key in upping mm. your level, upping your game, upping your, your visibility and the way that your company and brand yes. speaks, right? So this is something you guys help with as well as designers. Yeah, definitely. Most people are now at home freaking out because they don't know how they're going to get their businesses back up again. And um, I've seen it now with two companies where they say, listen, we need to up the social media. We need to up our marketing a little bit and everything. And now is the perfect time. If you start pumping out the adverts and pumping out specials, um, even if online situations, even making your brand visible by doing something for free, like what I'm doing now is giving free tips to people on how to better your photography. Um, that Those are the types of things that uh, you need to start doing. Um, I think especially with, with wedding planning, what you do is if you say to people, listen, if you're planning on getting married in December or November or October, these are the things that you need to start thinking about. And Yes, now it's a time for us to to take a breather, check what we need that's going to make our businesses stronger after this and just start building on that online presence. That's the most important is your online presence. Everyone is on their phones right now. So and it's free. that's very important. <laughs> It's terrible. I got a report back from my iPhone yesterday. It was, I was on my phone for six hours yesterday. <laughs> wow. Okay. Social distancing. It's shocking. <laughs> it's shocking. But this is what's going to happen now is that everyone's going to be on their phones. They don't know what else to do. You have people that um, they they don't have the, uh, 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 the puzzle at home that they can build a puzzle. They don't have Legos. Um, even Lego is not even uh, um, delivering during this time because I thought maybe to buy a Lego set to yeah. sit and build that. But you can only get it after the lockdown. So oh. those those are some of the things that people are, I think, going to struggle with. It's um, not getting those little entertainment necessities. Everyone's watching Netflix. Yeah. But um, getting your presence online right now, it's absolutely, it's the best way to go. Um, I've been what? speaking to a lot of Yeah. Yeah, I've been speaking to a lot of other photographers as well who's been cracking down on their marketing, um, you know, cleaning out what was what didn't work, what they're going to try and work. Um, also, a lot of them are actually upping their games a little bit and doing more courses. They're taking more courses, which is actually quite nice. Um, th this is something that we have to do, unfortunately. We don't have anything to do. We have to go out in order to work from home. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, it's... We can do this, Natalia. We can do this. Uh, we, uh, we creative people. We can do this. We can do this. I'm very positive about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, I find so many things to do, and my daily schedule is like filling up. And then I, at the end of the day, I'm like, damn, I didn't do these things, and I have to do oh, them. Really? So I do keep myself super challenged and busy, and and creative, of course. But you're right. I've also up my game in writing a book now. 
now and going through my wedding stuff and yeah unfortunately a lot of weddings have been cancelled but that's okay because we'll do them in the future and then it's just like you said mm. the step boards or or new websites I've designed three websites this week or last week because we're in a new week and um, so it's all kind of slowly trickling into place and people realizing and waking up and and once this is done then we have to be ready no time to be complacent here right so. <laughs> no, we have to hit the ground running. As soon as that lockdown goes uh, uh, goes up, we have to start start pumping out work. And this is the time for us to do it. I think this is God's way to say to us, listen, your marketing was up to nonsense. Uh, it's time to peak it. Let's let's yeah. try and tweak it a little bit. So uh, yeah, and I feel very relaxed about it right now because there's no there's no stress. You don't have deadlines that you need to get to. Your deadlines are the personal ones that you're making right now. And I think it's the best way is to handle this is just by starting with yourself and marketing your personality. That's the best that you can do for it right now. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone wants to get in touch with Unique Release, what's the best way? What's your social media handle? Well, you can find me on Facebook under Nicolise Harding Photography and Design. Uh, Instagram is just plain Nicolise Harding. And Twitter also Nicolise Harding if you want to follow me there. I share happy thoughts on Twitter, not the most miserable nonsense ever. Today <laughs> there was waves and dolphins. <laughs> I, I actually happy thoughts there. Um, Instagram is more busy, actually. I love Instagram. It's one of my favorite platforms for a photographer, and I'm having so much fun on there. But um, if you want to follow me there, please, it would be amazing. Comment. I'll comment back. I'll give you some advice on design and photography, whichever way you want to go. But yes, yeah. So that's where you can find me. Cool, Nick Relief. Thank you so much for coming on and bringing a bit of sunshine into everyone's life. And we'll, oh, make, sure <laughs> and we'll make sure to follow your challenge. And I challenge everyone to start their photography. Come on, let's do it this. <laughs> everyone can do it. Even if you're a jeweler, if you're a creative jeweler or something like that, it's the nicest way that you can do it. I've seen jewelers taking photos for their Instagram, that's just done by their phone. So your phone is a very powerful tool. Yes, it's got a lot of germs, clean it. But yes, don't, don't, don't falter. Contact me, get me some, uh, get some advice from me and everything and just be happy. Try and find nice and happy details in your life. It's, it's the best way that you can handle this whole situation that we are currently in. Wow, super. Thanks, guys. And thanks for watching. This is Natalia on Luxury with Natalia. More episodes coming soon, more positivity, more creativity. That's what it's all about in this lock time. Take care, everyone. Bye. <laughs>